Hello everyone, this is Avina from PhoneBunch and today we'll be benchmarking the Moto G. First, let's have a look around the device. On the left, there's nothing. At the top, you have the secondary noise cancellation microphone and the 3.5mm audio port. At the back, you have the 5 megapixel camera, LED flash, the loudspeaker. The back has a nice matte finish to it. On the right, you have the power lock and unlock button as well as the volume rocker. Both are quite sturdy. At the bottom, you have the primary microphone and the micro USB data syncing and charging port. Now let's have a look at the hardware specifications first. From here you can see the model name, it's the XT1033 Moto G Dual SIM and it features the MSM8226 quad core Snapdragon 400 processor. At the bottom you can see the display resolution, it's 720 by 1280. It's showing 1184 as space is taken by the soft buttons at the bottom. Now let's move ahead. From here you can see that it's a Cortex A7 based processor with 4 cores and running at about 1.2 GHz and features the Adreno 305 GPU from Qualcomm as well as OpenGL ES 3.0 support that came with Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. Android 4.4 update is still pending for the device and has arrived in several countries including Malaysia. From memory you can see that out of the 1 GB RAM 882 MB is available to the system and at present 448 MB is free right now and you can see that 12.9 GB is available out of 16 GB storage. In camera you can also see that we have a 5 megapixel primary camera and can record up to 720p videos at 30 frames per second. You also have a 1.3 MP front facing camera which is also capable of 720p video recording which you can see from right there. The primary camera is accompanied by a LED flash. The phone features a 2070 mAh battery which should last for an entire day according to Motorola. There are several sensors including an accelerometer, a magnetic field sensor, orientation sensor. You can see that the proximity and light sensors are working fine. Now let's start with the benchmarking. First we'll run the Antutu benchmark. We have fast forward all the benchmarks to get to the final results quickly. The scores are loading up. The Moto G scored 17103 which is a really high score and it comes just below the Galaxy S3 and above the Google Nexus 4. Now we are going to run the Quadrant benchmark. We are running the full benchmark here as well. Let's submit the scores to get a comparison chart. Here too you can see that it scored 8575 and it's at the top of the chain. And almost all MediaTek chipsets in this price range are easily blown out of the water with these cores. Now we are going to run the Nina Mark 2 benchmark. It will test the graphics prowess of the Adreno 305 GPU. So we got a score of 57.7 FPS which means that even high-end games should be really easily playable on the device. Now we are going to run the Velomo benchmark. It will run the Sun Spider as well as V8 benchmark suit which will test the JavaScript performance of the device. So we got a score of 1958, which is again really high score, considering that this phone is available for around Rs. 12,499 for the 8 GB variant and 13,999 for the 16 GB variant that we have right now. For some reasons, the graph is not loading up, so we'll move on and we'll run the metal chapter. So we got a metal score of 563 which is again really high. Now we are running the lint pack test. First the single thread test we got a score of 84. Now we will run the multi thread test. It's inconsistent we will run that again. So we got a score of 215.68 which is a really respectable score especially given the price point. Let's have a multi touch test of the display. So I have 6 fingers on the display but you can see that it registers only 5 of them. Therefore it's a 5 point multi touch display. Even in general day to day performance you can see that there is no lag and the display performance is great as well. In terms of competition there is just the Xperia L, Xperia M and the Samsung Galaxy Grand Quattro from the tier 1 companies. But they are no match to the specifications as well as performance of the Moto G. Clearly this is the best budget buy in India right now. We'll be back with lots more video. Till then you can watch our unboxing of the Moto G. See all the accessories that it comes with. 
as well as the review of the Q1000 Opus from Zolo and the Nokia Lumia 525 review as well. Don't forget to subscribe and like. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. This was Abhinav Parak for Phone Bunch. Thank you and have a great day.